The University Tower chimes, ring in another session of Ask the Professor, the show on which you match wits with University of Detroit Mercy professors in an unrehearsed session of questions and answers. I'm your host, Matt Mile, and let me introduce to you our panel for today. To my right, from the Department of English, it's Professor Heather Hill. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay. You just said you got uh, you got a grumpy email. Um, I would guess, as union president, that you get a lot of those. You know, that is accurate. <laughs> that is very accurate. I just, I just, I, I got a think. thing for predicting mm. these things. Yeah, I, don't I know. know you, you, so. you're, you're prescient. <laughs> No such thing as a non-grumpy email if well, you're that's, the UDMP that's president. Yeah, that's true. I can, I can confirm I that. I, I honestly don't know. I don't oh, no. know. That immediately births some it's future It's the British pronunciation. Like, like, pronunciations as a part of it. I'm sure I would Prescient? screw that up. Yeah. Prescient. Pre-scient? Prescient. I'm, I'm just being funny. I'm just being You're funny. prophetic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, exactly. I okay. can tell the future email that you're going to get. You will get, you will get another two grump- grumpy emails in the next 48 hours. I think I'm right. <laughs> That'd be a slow day. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, yeah. we got to start a campaign on April Fool's Day. Everybody on campus send a really pleasant email. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, that'd be good any day. That would actually just be nice to day. do. Yeah, that would just be a nice thing to do. It can be a thankless job. Yes. Now, <laughs> Professor Stephen Manning, Department of Being Retired, is also here. You were a uh, grievance officer for how many years in the oh, union? Oh, God. 18 or something. 18 years? Something like so you are also familiar with the process of receiving negative emails. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> He was president for one year. That's right. I, I do remember that, and I'm not going to make a direct comparison because everything comes with its own sort of special decoration. No, it's this job is it's harder. Okay. Than right. when he was doing it, and I do not I would know assume. why. I, I would don't assume. know why. I think it's because it's 2024. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the year. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have been president longer than we thought. It's, it's true, though. It's true. I mean, my year was not fun. Great, but I mean, it's nothing like what you've done, what you've gone through. So, Stephen, you're a peacetime mm-hmm. president. <laughs> he, well, I, you know, there were uh, there were issues, but um, I mean, not not not. Well, I, I I had I had some issues that are present issues, sure, but when sure. I was grievance officer, right. the one year I was the president, and I sort of fell, you know, into this into okay. that job my okay. last year teaching here. Got um, it. Uh, just because of personnel stuff, um, it was a relatively easy year. Okay. okay. You know, it ended what the year before COVID, right? Spring of COVID, my mm-hmm. yeah, last sounds spring about teaching, right. 2020. Yeah. We're about to do the four year anniversary of COVID here in a couple <coughs> yeah. weeks. So, yeah. Yeah, Con- uh, the contracts just keep getting more complex because there keep being additional issues that need to be dealt with and mm-hmm. have, or can... things that have to be changed. Or... Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, well, you certainly, it, it, it is certainly longer. At some point, when I I inherited from Carol, you know, we have the UDMPU as an office. It was over in Reno, and we went over to clean it out. You were there. I was there. And um, found a lot of old I, booze. I don't know. If, <laughs> <laughs> booze from the old George Pickering. Oh my word! Edward yes. Dewint years. No wow. Doubt. Yes. Wow. I mean, it was so old it was undrinkable. Mm. You know. But, is that uh, is that possible? I don't know. Aaron's like, right. 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 <laughs> just saying, calamity Jane standard on that. That yeah. it ain't been previously oh, wow. swallowed. That's right? right. That's the only requirement. Okay. Yeah. But they ended up with in the in, in the archives. Ended up with ended up with contracts going back uh, to the 70s. Well, sir. These things were like, the original ones were like 18 pages. Oh, my word. Well, I the, have those now. And the current yeah. ones are now, yeah, you, I, I passed I them on to Sigrid and she yeah, probably I gave them to them. you. They're in my office. For the, uh, for the union yeah. archives. But yeah. the original was like 18 pages. Now we're up right. to over 100. Incredible. But you're right. We keep Incredible. adding things. And, yeah. you know, That's true. Well, which is a good thing. Things that need to be added. Yeah. yeah. Let's be serious. Moving yep. right along. Yeah, moving right along. Professor Jeff Boats is here from the Department of Mathematics. Howdy. And spy novel writing. That's, uh, yeah. that's my principal job these yep, days. Yep, that's right. Yep, looking forward to uh, diving into that manuscript this weekend. How, oh, how are the Caps doing this season? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm wearing this because uh, my girlfriend is a Caps fan, so now I am. 
Go okay. Pens, go Red Wings. <laughs> okay, yeah, exactly. All right. Well, I mean, you have the red, so um, you know, yeah. from a distance, it's sort of like maybe it's Montreal. like an alternate uni or like something. Red, red jerseys and the Penguins. That's yeah. what I like. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Uh, we're very, very pleased to have a guest panelist with us today. Although, I've gotta say, Dave, you're welcome to join us every week, and then you'll move from guest status to permanent status. Yes. Um, Professor Dave Casillo is here uh, from Department of Communication Studies. Well, as you, you haven't seen my performance yet today, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're very optimistic. We, but yeah, thank we, you for having me. We don't judge, I promise you. We, 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 don't. we just don't we can't. have very high standards. So if I were you, I wouldn't worry. I think you're... You're saying there's never been a probationary period. Okay. <laughs> <That's amazing. For laughs> <ATP. laughs> I mean, you're you're new to the university. If you want to give a little bit of a background, that'd be great. Uh, yeah. So I am. Uh, I just started here at Detroit Mercy in the uh, fall semester, and uh, I teach in communication studies. I'm also the faculty advisor for the Varsity News, mm -hmm. and used to work in media as a journalist, mostly covering sports. Uh, been all around the country, and uh, happy to settle in here. That's awesome. awesome. Well, you picked the right sports town. That's yeah, all I got. For sure. <laughs> yeah, Lots of wise things yeah, right going now. On. So. The and noble hockey. profession yeah. of journalism. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing around the table, uh, I'm Professor Dan Maggio okay. is here. We didn't know if you were going to make it. Is is first Fish Fry Friday? And so I didn't want to like, speak for you or anything. No, I was, you know, I was so. actually throwing stones. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, and I, hopefully I'll look good sitting next to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I'm doing great. And, uh, yeah, it's first Fish Fry Friday. I am going tonight. Where are you going? Yeah, where are you going? Sweetest Heart of Mary. Sweetest Heart yeah. of Mary. Oh, I got to go. So we're going to make arrangements to go. We will. And we have to make arrangements for Shrine 2 because they're only going to be open a key number of individual days because special oh. pierogi night and stuff like that. All right. So, well, yeah, thank deal. you for the warning. <laughs> Fish is good when it's baked, okay. even when it's baked, Take I should ATP say. Take ATP on yeah. the road to a I know. fish fry. Come on, Rogue, let's do it. Yeah. Michael is uh, going like, don't say that on the air. Uh, we'll have to cut that out later. <laughs> um, Professor Aaron Bell is here from Seattle. 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 Mm -hmm. An auspicious name. It's, I, I, I think it's cool. Yeah. It's like you work for the CIA or something. Let's go with that. Yes. yes. <laughs> search How for extraterrestrial learning or something. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Well, she's wearing her Star Trek. I know. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The uh, Star Trek thing. But the Honolulu blue dress. So right. you're ready for next year's playoffs. Mm -hmm. Let's be serious. Here, Multifaceted so. genres of, I don't know, fandoms, I guess. Let me ask the really, really obvious but not obvious question. Does the third floor of the library... Have a problem with temperature control. How did you hear about that? I don't oh know. my goodness! Yes, um, were you, was someone complaining to you today about that? Because Possibly. there was like I think it was like um, ninety. No, it was eighty-one degrees in Mike's office today, and he I came in and there was just this like balmy breeze. He had all the windows open, um, oh and I'm usually cold, so I was comfortable. But yeah, it was ninety-one. I think our other office, yes. All over the place with these old buildings, so um, that's kind of entertaining. It, it's something that we all can talk about. Um, my sister uh, works for um, the Archdiocese of Chicago doing some stuff for the church. She brought in these two African priests to be guest speakers in person in Chicago recently. It was the first time they'd ever been to the United States. Wow. And after spending a few days with them, she's like, tell me what you think of the United States. And they looked at each other and they said, you all talk about the weather a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we do, we do. It's like, there you go. That's, that's, that's us in a nutshell, basically, especially in the Midwest. So, you know, the microcosm of that is, hey, how's the heat out of control where you are? <laughs> well, it's very bizarre because so we true. have like a cross hallway difference, like, you know, 90 mm -hmm. on one side, 50 on the other. And I learned, um, I didn't know what Briggs was all about until I taught there mm -hmm. on the third floor this fall. That was a special experience as well. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 When Summer goes into October. Yes. It's a very special it's, yeah. experience. It's healthy. <laughs> yes, it, it seems like a problem now that it's new, but you know, next year by next year we'll have embraced it as like Hawaiian shirt, third floor library, February. You know, <laughs> of course, of course. It's growth mindset. I like Maybe. that. That's right. Windows in some it's traditions. And sure. breaks oh yeah. sure. It's, yeah. it's like I don't yeah. care if you guys are cold. <laughs> and those. I'm are the teacher. The dulcet tones <laughs> of <laughs> Professor Beth Oldjire from the Department of Philosophy. Yes, we we know because this this without the window why open on a 30 degree day in in winter this room gets to be unbearable absolutely unbearable i have to be in some air-conditioned building during fall semester 100 percent, 100 percent. we are happy to furnish that classroom for you if it's actually working in our building 
This is a program, folks, we can send us questions regarding anything. If you stump the panel, you win a prize. If you don't stump the panel, you win a prize. You can send the questions in a number of ways. Email us at atp at udmercy.edu. Find us on Facebook and Instagram or listen on your favorite smart speaker by asking it to play Ask the Professor at University of Detroit Mercy. Professors, we have a set of questions sent to us. Dear panel, my apologies for not sending in questions sooner. Working a later shift here in, this gives it away, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. The city that truly never sleeps sometimes prevents me from researching and writing down questions for the show. I'll gladly admit that listening to your podcast in the wee hours does help pass the commute to and from work. Work. Below are 20 questions plus a bonus. We like the number 21 out here. Mm -hmm. For your panel to solve, thank you for a fun and educational half hour every week. Regards and Viva Las Vegas, Michelle Horner. We should have been praying for Michelle. She sends questions quite regularly. I understand that all of the townies uh, after the Super Bowl or before the Super Bowl said, yeah, we're out. Like mm -hmm. they came to like Detroit. They came to Chicago for like a weekend to stay away from the Super Bowl when Vegas hosted a couple uh, um, uh, number of days ago. So. Thanks for sending these, Michelle. Let's see what we can do. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. These are all over the map. And we start with the absolute classic. What was the last movie that shown at the Berkeley Theater in Berkeley, Michigan? Wow. <laughs> Just X number of decades ago. <laughs> Uh, it is uh, now a Rite Aid. I just like it is now a uh, um, what is it? A drugstore. Yes, oh, but the marquee uh, survives. Is this close? one where if we knew the year it would help, or is this? You know, I think it would help. Although I also think that they did like a special showing oh. of a famous movie at mm. the end. I want to say it closed right before or at two thousand. So it gives you a window. So the movie could be from a completely different time, than right? Yeah. Could it be two thousand one? A space odyssey. <laughs> that, that is a very very good um, um, guess. It is not correct. This movie, if I remember remember correctly originally came out in 1993 93 yes it was an when action movie Sally. oh <laughs> <laughs> well no i would call harry right. Sally an action, action no. movie some action in the diner yeah. action um i'll have what she's had uh, exactly <laughs> indeed um, it was uh, a Steven Spielberg. Um, E.T. E. 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 No. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yes. Jurassic Park. Random. Absolute Random. classic. Oh, score one for the rookie. <laughs> he was afraid of his performance. Yes. He's ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is Conrad Heyer's contribution to the field of photography? Flash? Yeah. That's not what it says here. He invented the uh, SLR camera. No, Sounds that's like not what it says. Something with shutter apertures or lenses mm. or some such thing. I, I believe that you all are taking the word contribution very literally. I mean, he <laughs> did something more than invent something. He, he took something. a picture? He something. took a picture, and it was of a very specific thing. Oh, uh oh. oh. <laughs> I took the, a picture of Marilyn Monroe. No, no. I, that's About reasonable. The Brooklyn Bridge. No, picture. that's a classic. That's the a Hindenburg. Classic. Um, no, this is a certain tough part one. of the male anatomy. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and he just wasn't wow. able to text and today. And Dave Chow right. isn't even here. Um, <laughs> no, I guess I'm channeling <laughs> you're him. Channeling oh him. my, help me! I, help I can, me! I could give a clue. Hmm. Of all the people who had their picture taken up to Conrad Heyer, they had a certain condition. He was the first to not have that condition. What a certain condition? They were dead. Yeah, he was huh. the first person oh. who was still alive when the picture was taken to have his picture oh. taken according to historical records, okay. which is pretty weird. Yeah. It is weird. Ph photography was viewed, if we remember in the beginning, classic Simpsons yes. line, every time Grandpa gets his picture taken, you stole my soul, is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> that if you did that, it would kill the person or kill them mm -hmm. soon after. So they only took pictures of dead people in the mm -hmm. beginning. Yeah. He's like, let's try this out. Let's run the experiment. In what year were the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels formed? 64. Ooh, it was before that. <laughs> yeah, right after 49. Uh, getting closer, That's but before that, 45? forty-seven. It says right forty-six, and okay. you were trying to, you know, figure it out. It's the second oldest formal aerobatic team behind the uh, French version, which was formed in nineteen thirty-one. Because my dad really wanted to be a part of that, because he liked to do stunt flying in mm. his little plane. And then when he married my mom, she's like, "I don't think so. <laughs> no, this is you're not doing that anymore. You now have a bunch of children. You have to be responsible for so." <laughs> You got it. No stunt flying for you, Jack. No more stunt flying. <laughs> My dad had to sell his motorcycle. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Yep. What musical act is credited, looking back, 
with the ending of the hair metal phase of heavy metal. The ending? The ending. The ending of it. The well, ending so of it. You could choices. give me the band or you could give me the movement corresponds to when you grunge? and I... Grunge? Yeah, grunge. Yeah, grunge. So Nirvana is viewed as okay. the end of hair metal, huh. basically. Yeah. They're not hair metal. That's no, why they're the they end. Yeah, they're like the new... Metal? They're, they're the, the end of hair metal, the beginning of a new movement. Mm-hmm. But, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. okay. But I see what Dan's saying. Yeah, I get yeah. it. I was looking. I was going to say like poison. Yeah, like I know rat. that's where I went first. <laughs> like, okay, which, which one? one? And would be like the last which one used up the last of the hairspray? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we're fine. I think we're good. We're all right. We're, yeah. It's hard to see that when it's happening. Is what mm-hmm. I'm saying. I know. You know what yeah, I mean? I it's like you have to wait till many years. Well, we were both living in Seattle oh. when he killed himself. Oh, so. jeez, that's too bad. Yeah, it was not good. Mm-hmm. We've had this one before, but it's a good one to have in your back pocket. Which U.S. president used a car? Was first to use a car to go to his inauguration? Oh, that's an interesting mm-hmm. question. So to do them all in order. And I'm like FDR? FDR? No, Washington? maybe earlier. <laughs> 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 It wasn't FDR. No, it wasn't FDR. It's probably in the Coolidge? 30s. No, nope. well, Warren G. Harding. It was Harding. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I was getting close. <laughs> what year was that? It does not say. You should have stayed in the car, though. I just uh, remember yeah, him because true. stayed in the car. That's funny. Indeed. They said he won because women were allowed to vote, and it was because he was handsome, and he was a horrible president. But really, the research says more men voted for him. Just yeah. I remember that, that part of it. That was the 20s, right? Yeah. That, that, that was the late 20s. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 26, maybe, he was elected? Right, that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. World War II. Uh, don't think too hard. What do actors David Spade, Christy Brinkley, Dean Cain, and Lee Majors all have in common? Same <laughs> birthday. I, I mean, close. <laughs> close. Not close. birth date. Same city. Year. Yeah, very close. Same hospital. Birthplace. City. Birthplace. Birthplace. Birthplace general. Yeah. Huh. You figured it out. They were all born in Detroit. Spade was born in Birmingham. Uh, Brinkley was born in Monroe. Kane was born in Mount Clemens. And Lee Majors was born in Wyandotte. I had so no idea. So they're all Metro Detroiters. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that? I, I think if they're going to rebuild someone, it should be in Detroit. We have the technology. 100%. <laughs> we can rebuild him. <laughs> Why do you find that so funny? Special I I think it's great. Well, when I sent the one of Dave's I'm glad I can many, make you laugh. Uh, zombie Beth versions with my gauntlets, <laughs> I sent it to Marty Lever, and he's like, I just hear the, the theme music for the $6 million man playing in the background. I'm like, we can rebuild her. We have the technology. <laughs> Uh, props on uh, another good piece. I mean, these are written or researched by someone from Las Vegas. They, they're asking us about the Berkeley Theater, for Pete's mm-hmm. sake. Who is the last Republican who is the mayor of the city of Detroit? Last Republican? Yes. Would it have been a Romney? I could give you oh. 1957 to 1962, mm-hmm. so it wasn't that long ago, but long enough, you know? Before young. George um, Romney? Wasn't. It wasn't Romney, no. Uh, Romney, I think you're thinking um, governor. 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 Yeah. governor. Yeah. Well, I, but I thought he might. Is there have anything in town named after him that give us a hint? Mm, good, you know, good um, no, <laughs> probably because he was Detroit's last Republican. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right before the civil rights movement, and I think that pretty much says everything. There are a couple things that that have his name, but it's more like. On this, you know, in this place in 1957, nothing happened. I'm sorry, what were the years again? 57 to 62. Initials LM. It's a tough one. This is tough. What Lawrence? Lee Majors. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lee Majors. It was Louis Miriani. It was okay. his name. I, know yep. that. I like Lee one. Majors or, better yeah. as a guess. Mm-hmm. That's much better. Oh, he was born in the area. That's true. That is absolutely true. Um, collectively, who were Julie Parkhurst, Patty Kelly, Mac Gilchrist, Julie Bellino, and Kathy Davies? They were a band. They were not a band. Not a singing group. So this is tricky. Were they on TV? What Second if I tell you television? that they were not playing the instruments, but they played a band? Does that help? Played a band. They played Partridge, a, Partridge family. So they no. lip synced or something? No, they didn't lip sync. They definitely didn't speak or sing. This is a tough one. They played a band. Didn't speak didn't or speak sing. Were the actors that were like on Puppets? the H and R puffin stuff type? Yeah. Thing? <laughs> no, that's a good guess. It's a really good guess, and I will not say you're in the wheelhouse Puffins at all. Did. No. Okay. So <laughs> what I will say is the Muppets band 1980s no. music videos. You don't have to think too hard. 
1980s music videos. The zombies and Thriller? <laughs> no, no. Oh, man, that is a really good guess. Um, now you're in the wheel. Were they in a house? video? They were in a music video. Were they in oh, Ladies my and the thriller? Robert, were they Robert Palmer? Thriller? Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer, Robert Palmer oh. Addicted to Love. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. This will shock everyone. They don't know how to play those instruments. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Because they just look like they did. Yeah. The, the lights are on, but no one's home. Yes. Uh. Oh, and for the record, my bad. I didn't read to the next line. They were they performed in the Addicted to Love video and in the Simply Irresistible video. So, yeah, Simply Irresistible. Oh, there you go. Well, they should have been in Shania Twain's video that is a oh. send up of oh yeah uh, it's like a rip yeah on man it, right? i feel like a woman is yes. her song but That's she's right. she does it as a send up of uh, mm-hmm. robert palmer how about this one can you rank the following four pixar movies from highest grossing to lowest grossing <sighs> incredibles up finding nemo wally so we don't need we don't need numbers here. We really up just is highest. It is not. It is I second. Say, I was going to say Finding Nemo. Nemo. I think yeah. Wally is Finding low. Nemo is number one. Okay. Mm-hmm. I love Wally. But up is two. Wally is keeps Wally is last. Incredibles. Wally is last. Yeah. And then Incredibles in the middle. So for the record, Wally, jeez, five hundred twenty-one million dollars. Incredibles six hundred thirty. Up seven hundred thirty-five. I mean. Finding Nemo, 949 total million at the box office. That's just... Was there a second obscene. Incredibles movie? Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. yes. Absolutely. Okay. I didn't think it was as good as the no. first one. First no. one's really good. good. Yeah. 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 We have like the Wally. saving of the world to Wally's the men? Really I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the first Republican vice president of the United States? Oh, when did uh, they start? Because it was Johnson, Democrats and Whigs Johnson. first, right? Yeah, Republicans. That's Depends not on what how it you says define here. Republican. I think. Well, when that the party we know started, that Johnson oh. ended Lincoln's second term, but who started Lincoln's first? It's different. Initials H H. Herbert Hubert Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, the uh, Metrodome right. partial credit. No. <laughs> it was Hannibal Hamlin was his name. Hannibal and, and Hamlin. Lincoln actually switched in between the two terms, getting elected. Huh. Okay. Weird, weird stuff. Mm. And he has a cool name. And Hamlin was the first. Was Lincoln's first vice president? Mm-hmm. Okay. Not going on the plane, Hannibal. That's the first thing that I hear Mr. T saying in my head. <laughs> Which famous game show host was also a member of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe? Hmm. Famous. Bob Barker. Oh, Bob, Bob Barker. Bob Barker was yeah, a member of the yeah, Sioux Tribe. Yeah, That's yeah. right. <laughs> honorary? Did you know that? or Just seemed like a good guess. <laughs> was he honorary member? It doesn't say or honorary or not. Pick no, your favorite actual, game yeah. show host. Yeah, so exactly. Bob Barker or Alex Trebek are always going to be good answers there. So. <laughs> what about Wink Markendale? <laughs> or Gene Rayburn. Or Gene Rayburn. Gene Rayburn. Oh, my gosh. What U.S. city lies at the confluence of the Christina River and the Brandywine Creek? Um, that's northeast. What U.S. city? It's a U.S. city. What U.S. city lies at the confluence of the Christina River and the Brandywine Creek? We're leaning on Dave, who's lived in a lot of different places. <laughs> I'm just looking at the map up here. Oh. <laughs> that's oh, right. and, like, you know, that's a great. Uh, Brandywine Creek is Massachusetts somewhere. It is not. About is it Pennsylvania? That's what I know. Your your hint is President Biden. Delaware. Delaware. So Wilmington? So it's Wilmington is what it is. Oh. Yes, Wilmington, Delaware. I was going to say Philadelphia. I was also thinking Wayne's World. Oh, great. Speckle. We're in Delaware. Brandy wine. How many Olive Garden restaurants are in all of Europe? I want to say we had this question recently, too but many. I still love it. <laughs> More than one. All is too How many Europe? airports are there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Olive Garden is good. 300. Let's, I just looked at the U.S. map again. Let's pretend like we have a map of Europe. And if I drop a little pin right in the middle of Europe, how many Olive Gardens are close to that pin? The answer is none. None. The closest one is in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So there you go. There are Uh, standards. Let's be serious. They didn't dare put... Sorry, (laughs) Beth. (laughs) <laughs> their chickens can't be as good. It, it is good. I would agree with that. And their endless breadsticks, also. Big fans yes. of yeah, my sons. <laughs> who are the two actors from the movie The Defiant Ones who got nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor? Oh, man. Cliff Random? Montgomery. Neither of the two names okay. that I just heard, unfortunately. I have TC and SP. That should take care of business. The Defiant 
I've never seen this. Tyrone? No. no. Is that a Western? <laughs> These are classic he's... golden era Hollywood. Yeah, I don't think he... Uh, TC he and what? SP. Oh. As TC and SP. Mm-hmm. I'm sort of surprised. I've never seen it. Oh, I thought you said TP. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tyrone Power. <laughs> I don't think he did so it was Tony Curtis oh, okay. and Sydney Poitier. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, we got to get one wrong every once in a while. I know. Dave, we make up the rubric, so we can do whatever the heck we want, basically. <laughs> Unless the, the sender specifies yes. like, what yes. the grading scale is supposed to be. And then you, we usually ignore that. Anyway. And then we ignore that anyway. Yeah. Uh, who was no. the first musical act who opened Staples Center in LA when it first opened? That would have been late 90s, early 2000s. Who was the first what? Musical act. In mm-hmm. LA? Staples Classic Center. Classic American. Traveling show. Hanson. No. <laughs> Still is it good? Uh, Aerosmith. Aerosmith is good, but no. a little more definitely Americana. How's that? America, Americana. Mm-hmm. Is it country western? No, no. Okay. He's the everyman from out east. The everyman. Mm-hmm. Billy Joel. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Springsteen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Springsteen. Yeah. 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 Who apparently just never he's doing the uh, rolling stones thing like theoretically i'm just going to never stop touring that's my whole life and i don't need a house and i can live out of a bus kind of well, interesting he, but he has a house sure he has a sure. pretty large chunk of property yeah but. take a look at the map professors what's the 38th u.s state because that map will help <laughs> <laughs> what 38. The 38th uh, state. Somewhere out west. It is out west. South Dakota. It is not. A Wyoming. Wyoming. Montana. I haven't heard it yet. Utah. Utah. Colorado. It's Colorado. Okay. That's on fire with right. the... Uh, um, in Fuego. Just going for it. In Fuego. Colorado. In Fuego. What state is Michigan? 26th? Something right. like that. 25? Yeah. Something like yeah. that. We're in the middle. Yeah, in the middle. I'm not sure how so official these rankings are. It's so weird that Oregon became are. a state so much yeah. earlier than... Other, I, I would, mean, I, would, I have this really ridiculous idea that the you know order of becoming states should go from east to west because the well, is <laughs> it, how do they do that? Is it is it like the date you signed your state constitution or something? You have or? to like ratify it, it through the federal government or right. something the like that. Federal yeah. government, some has ceremony. To do something, something. So, yeah. Yeah. so if you didn't get it in the mail. No. <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously. That's why know, the Western right? states are later, because the Pony Express lost the... Exactly, you know. Oh, my gosh. Professors, who are Sir Barton, Gallant Fox, Count Fleet, and War Admiral? Who are they? Yeah. Are oh, they... come on. I thought that was a giveaway, the last one. What was the last one? War Admiral. Horses. Count Fleet. Yeah, they are. They're Triple Crown winners. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly they're they good. Are. Yes. Mm-hmm. The horse, War Admiral. The horsey. Isn't that War Admiral the most recent one, I want to say? I think so. In the game of poker, what are the three hands that beat a full house? Four of a kind, a straight, straight flush, flush, and a royal, royal flush. 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 Yeah, you got it. Which I would say a royal flush it's is a not. Flush. It's a type of straight flush, so that shouldn't count. But yeah. whatever. <laughs> it is there, though. It is on our uh, thing here. That's good. Nice. Uh, who are the only two Oscar winners? Oh, my. To have appeared on Celebrity Jeopardy. Uh, I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> Oscar winners? Uh. I can't watch Celebrity Ben Jeopardy. Affleck. It's Meryl like, Streep? It's like dumbing down the test. I just... I Matt can't Damon? It. No. They're both female to start. Okay. Uh, initials JF and MS. Meryl Streep. Uh, Meryl Streep is a good guess, but it's uh, we're Ooh. thinking a little younger than Meryl Streep. But wrong. No. And JF. younger. And JF was sort of a... Oh, um, I don't know if she went Jane Fonda. No, not Jane oh, Fonda, but um, someone who's really, really big in the uh, the True Detective series right now. Oh, Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster. Jody Foster. Yes, okay. yes, was on Celebrity oh. Jeopardy. Maggie Smith, or did you say younger or older? Uh, younger than Meryl Streep, but oh. only um, by a decade or two. So okay. I, it's a hard one. I just... Mary Steenburgen. Oh, oh that's, good. that's a good yeah. one. Mary she it wasn't Mary Steenburgen. Um, she appeared with Lisa Kudrow in a movie. Oh, Mira, they, Mira, Sam- Mira, Mira Sorvino. Sorvino. Yes. Yes. Paul Sorvino's say, daughter. That they invented post-it notes. That's yes. all I can remember. <laughs> yes, you know? we invented. Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion. Oh, it was actually pretty funny. Yeah. It's it good. good. I like that oh movie. Gosh. All right, here's the bonus question, and we're down to our last uh, just about minute and a half here. What U.S. city has surrounding communities named Enterprise, Paradise, Whitney, and Sunrise Manor? Phoenix. Mm. Sounds like Florida. <laughs> sounds like Florida, sounds like Phoenix, but both are incorrect. Uh, I mean, California. United States? Uh, no. 
Oh, Las, Las Vegas? It's Vegas, yeah. yeah. Let's nice. finish everything off for Michelle. She's uh, listing the, you know, suburbs. What major U.S. city has suburbs named Clawson, Kigo Harbor, Garden City? Yeah, exactly. Wow, that was uh, pretty solid. I mean, honestly, nice. I think we only got like one of them wrong. And uh, that's uh, thanks, Michelle, for sending yeah, those, those questions. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Because we got them so well. <laughs> we did. We, we did. always like the ones we get right. right. We love the ones we get right. But I'm afraid our time is up, and the time has come to say goodbye, Beth. Goodbye. Aaron. Goodbye. Dan. Goodbye, Beth. Dave. <laughs> goodbye. Jeff. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> Stephen. Goodbye. And Heather. Bye bye. And now these words from University of Detroit Mercy. <clears throat> you can email Ask the Professor at ATP at udmercy.edu or visit the Ask the Professor Facebook page. Ask the Professor is produced and directed by Michael Jason and Brian Masonville, and our executive producer is Professor Jason Roach. Until next week, I'm your host. Matt Mayo.